Nextcloud has invested in artificial intelligence over many years now, and I will give an overview on the current stages and the most recent updates. Since the beginning, we wanted to offer AI to make your life easier, but we also want to be transparent about the downsides. Therefore, stick to our ethical AI rating system to help you decide which AI features are right for you. We give each AI integration a score, red, orange, yellow or green. This is based on three factors that address some of the key concerns with AI. First is the software open source. That allows you to adapt the training, perhaps to fix bias or optimize energy usage. Second is the model freely available that allows you to run it wherever you want, including your own data center and your data doesn't leak. Third is the training data freely available in that way, you can look for bias and other issues and retrain the model to your liking. We not only provide transparency, but also choice. We've taken a different approach from others in the industry and want you to have a choice between the various AI options. We ensure that for all features like translations, text processing or dictation, you have multiple options with on-premise and remote choices. In this way, make it possible to use remote AI service like OpenAI, Deeple, or DALL-E in comparison to your local on-prem systems. AI features and machine learning have become an integral part of Nextcloud since several releases. For example, we have text and image generation tools that don't send your prompts to third parties and face an object recognition that doesn't share your photos. Our smart inbox and mail is trained on your data on your server and call transcripts are generated locally as well. These are just some examples where AI is already for working for you in the background. Let's dive a little deeper into the Nextcloud Assistant. As of Hub 6, we introduced you to the Nextcloud Assistant, the industry first AI assistant hosted completely on your own server. This is the tool to make your AI features available, easily available, from everywhere in Nextcloud Hub. It's based on a large language model, it's 100% open source, and it can fully run on-premise so no data is sent to third parties. These are several features available on demand like text generation, summarization, dictation, and translation for text. On the other hand, the assistant is deeply integrated into several apps itself. For example, the language model understands your emails and suggests you smart replies to quickly react to them. Or it will pre-fill a follow-up appointment with tasks and topics from the email text. Additionally, the assistant can summarize whole email threads to save you a lot of time when coming back to work. Nextcloud Assistant is also available on your mobile via the Nextcloud app. Just open the Nextcloud app, access the assistant and the answers can be copied and pasted into other apps. And there is more. The Nextcloud Assistant can answer questions about your own documents and use previous content to write complex documents for you. Which brings me to two existing features of Nextcloud Assistant that I want to focus on in more detail. First, let's have a look at context write within the Nextcloud Assistant. Context Write was added to Nextcloud Assistant in Hub 8 and can rewrite any text for you based on provided source material. Imagine you have to write a report about the process on environmental efforts in your organization. Simply schedule a meeting with people to get input on the report. If you record the meeting, Nextcloud Assistant can provide you with a transcript. In the Assistant, you then give the environmental report from another company as example given as input to the meeting notes transcription and the assistant writes a complete report based on the notes in the same style that the other report was. While context write can write text for you, context chat allows you to ask questions about document and your data within your next cloud. Context chat will index all your files and learn from other apps like mail, calendar, deck and talk. Here, we ask the assistant to create a summary of an internal process for organizing an event, which is documented in the files stored in Nextcloud. 
Nextcloud context chat in the mail allows you to ask questions about your email, like a summary of all the information requests you received this week from a certain team member. Or with the Nextcloud talk, you want to share a company policy or process like asking for the vacation request process. But the context chat is not only available in standard apps. One example is Analytics, an app for data processing and visualization developed by Nextcloud community. It means that you can ask Nextcloud Assistant about data from the Analytics app. For example, you can ask about statistical data of your solar panels or you ask for the current sales data. And if you have the relevant data available, the Assistant will give you the overview you are looking for. All features of Nextcloud Assistant are dependent on a strong and stable backend. In this area, we introduced further improvements. The first area is the Enhanced Translation app that is now available within the Nextcloud Assistant window. Now, your translation options are virtually limitless. The app can detect, read, and translate over 400 languages by using the Modulat 400 model. We made it possible to use Translate as a so-called X app so you can run it on a separate server and it doesn't bug the performance of your core. And it can now also run on CPU and GPU infrastructures. Additionally, Assistant added support for Llama 3. The Nextcloud Assistant supports many underlying large language models and we always work to expand this list. For this release, we added support from the latest version of Llama 3. And as previously shown, we offer you the choice to combine different options depending on your requirements. The next even bigger improvement is our assistant to our assistant was asked by many customers. Today we are introducing a real chat UI. This means the large language model remembers the conversation and thus you can follow up on previous questions and continue with the discussion. Finally, we have created a new API to make it faster to develop new AI features in the future and improve performance and scaling. It makes the responses of the assistant faster regardless of the user's infrastructure by elim eliminating delays on the next lot side. So it allows for near instant responses on the chat UI if there is a fast backend available. To summarize this part for the next cloud assistant, we introduced new language model enhance the performance and introduce our new chat UI. Next, I would like to talk about Nextcloud tables. If you want to manage data across document, Nextcloud tables is your go-to tool for handling structured data. It lets you track all kinds of information and what's really useful is you can link this data directly to other Nextcloud resources like talk rooms or deck cards, keeping everything connected in one place. Plus, Nextcloud Tables is a no-code app, so you can create business applications easily without needing any programming skills. And with our latest release, you can now bundle these tables into a new app and make it available from the top menu bar in the Nextcloud Hub, making it super easy to access and use them wherever you need them. And then with Hub9, we added the user group, uh, user and group column type so you can, for example, design uh, a table to assign tasks to colleagues or a team right out of your table. Next is the feature to export a schema of a table. Schema means you can export the structure without the table and import it uh, in, a, in a later stage. This is useful for building table environments on a test system and then deploying to a production once ready. It can also be used to have templates of tables that can be reused with your organization if certain structures are used more often in the future. To sum up our enhancement for tables, we introduced the new user group column, we had a lot of performance improvements in the background, and we improved and enhanced our import and export capabilities.